Hi guys, today I'm going to be building the gimbal for my TBS Pro. I've decided to make my own video because some of the tutorials that are out there are not very clear, so hopefully this video is going to be useful to you. So let's start by emptying the contents of our box. For the moment we're only going to be interested in two boxes and two bags. If you can't find some of the parts that you need, look inside the other red bags. I'm going to lay everything out nice and neat so you can see where I'm taking the parts from. So let's start with our two boxes. The larger box contains our cables, screws and components for the gimbal. Here we have our small parts bag and our video and cable bag. Now let's start by laying all of our components in front of us. Our first piece is going to be this. We are going to screw this to one of our motors, so select one of the motors. Inside the small parts bag you'll find extra screws. We are going to use these screws, these are the 1.5mm. Take one of the screws and insert it through this plate. Then we are going to place the motor on the other side and screw directly into it. Take note we are actually screwing into the bottom of this motor. Once you have all four screws in it should look like this. Now select this component. This is the side the motor is going to be on and we are going to screw in through this side. Now select the bag of screws that are 2.5mm. These are short and stubby. Place one of the screws through the side and then screw into the top of the motor. Once you've added all four screws it should look like this. Now remove the cables from the cable bag. Here we have four cables, the ones we are interested in is the shortest one with 3 pin connector and the longest cable with the 5 pin connector. This is the IMU that we are going to plug these cables into. Select the short 3 pin connector and insert it into the side of the IMU. Then take the long 5 pin connector and add it into the other port. When it's complete it should look something like this. Now select this component. We're going to attach the IMU to this. Thread the large cable through the hole as seen here. This is held in by two screws. Use two of the 1.5mm screws to hold this in place. Now select this side component. This is the one with the larger hole. This attaches onto the same component that holds the IMU. Use two of the 1.5mm screws to hold it on. Then thread the large cable through the hole of the component that you've just added. Now select the bottom piece. These prongs that you see here are the back, so make sure when you're installing it that these are facing backwards. Again using the 1.5mm screws hold this in place. 
your gimbal should now look something like this. Now select the other side component. This is going to go on this corner here and fill in the gap. Remember to have it in this orientation with this protrusion sticking out. Again use the 1.5mm screws to hold this in place. Now the main cage should be complete. The next thing to do is select this component. We're going to clamp this bearing on the inside of it. Push the bearing into the hole. Inside the bag of 2.5 screws you will find one long thin screw. This is what we're going to screw in to hold the bearing. Put the screw in from the top and tighten. You want this just tight enough to hold the bearing in without causing any damage. It should be able to spin round freely. Now thread the long IMU cable on the gimbal through this bearing. You want the component to have the screw that you've just screwed in facing upwards. Then slide it all the way down onto the gimbal itself. Now push the long cable back through this component. You will see that there is a large recess for this cable to go inside of. Now pick up the part that we first put together. This is going to be the rear and will clamp onto the side. You can see that the cable fits through nicely. Add two more 1.5mm screws to hold this in place. Once you've done that it should look something like this. Now pick up the other motor and arm. Ensure that the screws are all done up nice and tight. Thread the motor cable through this part. Like the opposite side, there is a recess for this cable to sit into. Now simply put these two parts together. Make sure that the cable does not get pinched when you are doing this. Then simply add two more 1.5mm screws to hold it in place. Now take the back plate with all the holes in it. This is going to screw onto the back motor. Line the plate up and then use the 2.5mm screws to hold it in place. The plate with all the holes in has a recess for this cable to come out of, so ensure that you put it on the right way round. You will see when I spin it around that the other side does not have a recess. Ensure that all the screws are now in nice and tight. Now thread the long IMU cable back through this plate. Do the same for the cable coming from the pitch motor. Your gimbal is almost complete, we just need to add two more grub screws to hold the cage in place. 
Inside this bag of isolation mounts, you will find a very small Allen key to do this. And inside one of the bags you will also find the grub screws. It would be a good idea to use a small amount of thread lock to hold this in place. You will see that the motor shaft has a flat edge to it. Line it up with the screw and then screw the grub screw all the way down. Once you've got that screw all the way down, spin the cradle around and then add the grub screw from the other side. The cradle and motor should now work together nicely. Now using zip ties, push them through these holes and hold the cables nice and tight in place. Here's a demonstration. Make sure you keep the head of the zip tie on the inside of the gimbal. As you can see the head of the zip ties don't foul the cradle. Now find yourself a servo cable and strip off one piece. Loop the cable around and push it through one of the holes in these last two plates that you'll have left over. Then you can use this cable to lasso one of the isolation mounts. By using this method you can pull the isolation mount straight onto the mount with minimal effort. Use this technique to add the rest of the isolation mounts to the other component. Now it's time to add these onto the gimbal. The top isolation mount mounts this way, from the front to the rear. Again using the lasso technique, pull all the isolation mounts straight on. I found it easier to go from the middle isolation mounts to the outer. Once the top mount is done it should look like this. The bottom isolation mount goes from the rear to the front, just like this. Again use the servo cable and lasso technique to add this on. Once you've got the isolation mounts on, it should look like this. The last thing to do is add the GoPro data port. That last cable sticking out the top of the IMU board will plug straight into this. And there you have it, one completed TBS Pro gimbal. I hope this video has come in handy to you, if it has please give it a thumbs up, if you haven't already please subscribe.